Blessings one and all, and welcome to this week's episode of Journey into Spiritualism. I'm your host, Paul James Caden, and uh, I'm starting out with uh, an announcement on the show this week that I will be retiring this podcast uh, for the reason that uh, before this I was doing, um, really had just started a podcast called The Message, and uh, it was doing pretty well from its inception. And then I had mentioned this particular podcast, and I got somehow a lot of responses uh, saying, yeah, I remember that show, whatever happened to it, you know, bring that back, it was great. And it was kind of against my better judgment at first, if you remember me talking about that. And I said, you know what the heck, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. And uh, the issue is, uh, you know, is why I retired it uh, the first time around is that people are just not really interested in hearing about spiritualism. And though that's not what I talk about exclusively in this show, you know, I always want to talk about the social issues and uh, spirituality, you know, different aspects with that spiritual uh, kind of point of view added to it. Uh, I think it's just because of the word spiritualism. You know, people are just really shying away because it's something that is so misunderstood by a lot of people and a lot of people who are religious. And, you know, for all the people that uh, had contacted me and talked about reviving the show, uh, you know, those numbers are just really not there. And, you know, numbers are not that important to me. I know that I'm never going to have, you know, a big show. Or I may surprise myself. Maybe I will one day. Maybe it'll catch on. And that's okay with me. I always say if one person listens and gets something out of it, hey, that's great. But I've always kind of looked at myself as one of the few voices left crying out in the wilderness here on the internet uh, that are trying to talk, uh, you know, common sense and balance when it comes to social is issues and spirituality and religion. And sometimes that common sense uh, viewpoint is a bitter pill to swallow uh, for some people. But, uh, you know, you still want to be heard by some people. You want your message to be out there. The, the idea of doing podcasting for me is that I love doing it, of course. And you want your words, you want what you do, at least for me, to impact somebody out there in a positive way make them think, make them rethink their position. Not that I'm trying to get anybody to, uh, you know, follow me or, uh, you know, subscribe to my opinion. My whole idea has always been follow the leading of the Spirit of God in your own life. But make sure you know that it is the Spirit of God. You know, we have a lot of people in the world today saying, you know, this is the way, this is what God wants, this is what God is saying, and it's really nothing more than an opinion or a political point of view wrapped in religion, and people mistake those kinds of things for the voice of God, the will of God, the Spirit of God pointing the way, and they start going down a path that, that almost becomes uh, more cultic rather than freeing. And so, you know, that's always my position. Make sure it really is the voice of God. The voice of God it is always loving. It's always peaceful. It's always accepting. It's not so caught up in the things of this world that it becomes uh, politics or whatever religion wrapped in uh, spiritual thought claiming to be the truth. 
And uh, in all of my shows, including uh, Journey into Spiritualism, you know, I, I like to talk about some of the social issues with that spiritual uh, kind of mindset. And uh, uh, again, you know, people are just not really hearing those messages or because of that word, spiritualism. It, it turns them off. It scares them. They don't understand it because of the way uh, mainstream Christianity has handled that subject, not understanding what it is, uh, not really knowing what it is, not knowing what the religion and philosophy of spiritualism is or what they practice. And they make up all kinds of things around it and say it's from the devil and, you know, don't, you know, stay away from it. And people don't investigate for themselves. They merely hear what their leaders are saying and take it at face value, even though it's erroneous, it's incorrect. So for those reasons, I just decided to retire the show. And, you know, I had a good, uh, what I thought uh, was a good subject for this particular show this week. But then I, I caught myself saying, but is anybody really going to hear my words, you know, is anybody really going to hear what I'm saying? Because, you know, people just seem to be shying away. And and, and that is a shame because I, I think this was a good show. I think it covers uh, a, a lot of topics, but it just seems to be uh, one that's really fizzling out. So uh, I will be back. Uh, this is the last day of July. So I will be back in the next week or two uh, with, uh, you know, a show, but I have to really think about what that's going to be. I want to be, uh, you know, kind of a free speaker and not pigeonholed into just a certain topic. And that, that that's one of the issues when you, come out with a show like this as well, Journey into Spiritualism. People that are hardcore spiritualists and just want to hear about spiritualism and nothing else, if you deviate uh, a bit from that topic, um, you know, they don't want to listen either. So it, it becomes it becomes difficult to appeal to the audience in a way that makes them want to listen. But the more I thought about it, the more I thought this would be a good conversation piece for our parting show uh, from Journey into Spiritualism. And that is broadening our horizons growing our attention span and our interests. Because when it comes to the internet, and, and I've said this before in, in all of my shows, I've always said this, that for somebody like me, why I'll probably never have uh, you know uh, a booming show is because there's too many things I look, like to talk about and I try to put them under that one umbrella of spirituality and that can become confusing for people we've been so trained in our society in this day and age to focus on just one thing whether that's politics or guns or conspiracy theories or kids playing pranks or makeup tutorials, gaming, whatever it might be. And, and that's what we focus our attention on and all else. We say, well, oh, we're not interested. Oh, that's boring. Well, that's not the subject I want to hear. And we end up throwing away a lot of good information based on our limited interests and our, our very short and limited attention span. 
Now, I don't say this because, you know, I'm saying, oh, people need to, you know, uh, expand their horizons and listen to my show. But I'm saying this because if people can't focus on more than one subject when it comes to a podcast or a YouTube channel or whatever they're looking at on Instagram or Twitter or wherever they happen to be. How are they going to focus on more than one issue or greater issues in real life in the world around them? Because let's face it, folks, there's a lot going on in our world right now, and nobody, nobody seems to care. They just want to go forward doing whatever it is they did beforehand. Political games, political agendas, gaming, the makeup tutorials, you know, the the nonsense, you know, that, that is pushed in front of our faces by people we call influencers. And what are they influencing us to do? What are they influencing us to put our attention on? It's utter nonsense. And it really is watering down the intelligence of society and of mankind. And this uh, is a little bit about what originally my show was going to be about, uh, the idea I had for this week's show, uh, but I was going to take it in a, in a much uh, broader direction, and I'm going to do that show uh, in some form down the line when I come back. But suffice to say, you know, in retiring this show, one of the reasons I'm retiring it is that lack of attention, that that lack of interest. You know, people see one word, spiritualism, spiritualism, then when you talk about an important thing like prophecy, prophecy, uh, you know, at the end of the age, prophecy that this world as we know it uh, could be likely in the beginning stages of its final act well people don't want to listen even though that has a great deal to do with spiritualism you know prophecy and looking ahead you know god the angels the holy spirit you know uh showing people glimpses of things that will be on a broader scale So, you know, as I said, as the, as the world uh, pretty much is starting to crumble around us, w- what are people focused on? Just one or two minor, minute little issues that isn't helping anyone or anything. And we just continue to do what we've always done, ignoring all the warning signs around us. And I think... Uh, that's a very dangerous place to be in. And I'm going to say more about that in just a few moments. But right now, I just want to say a few words about our friends here at Anchor. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, let's get back into our topic here as we retire Journey into Spiritualism. And we're talking about people's lack of interest in more than one or two very simple or frivolous uh, topics while there's so many more bigger things going on around us in the world. And that's why I've always done the kind of shows that, that I've done. It's It's very difficult for me, though I have... A lot of interests, and they all, they all really uh, kind of rotate around spirituality. 
you know, I'm interested in spiritualism. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm interested in Christianity. I'm interested in prophecy. I'm interested in religion and philosophy from the Urantia papers. You know, I, I've done a lot of comparative religions with, you know, Buddhism and uh, Islam, Sufism, you know, so many different, uh, you know, aspects. So I, I have a lot of interests that I put under the umbrella of, of spirituality. And, you know, it's, it's difficult to get people to listen when you say something like spiritualism or urantia you know in a podcast which is again something i like to do and and might do you know that that is a subject that people uh, are, are quite interested in and i was thinking of bringing kind of a, a little bit of a different flavor to a urantia based uh podcast but uh you know we'll we'll see how that goes it and then it becomes uh again difficult because people see one word and they think it's going to be something, and when it's not, well, they'll, they'll just bail. They, they, they won't listen anymore. And meanwhile, there might be some information in that podcast that, uh, you know, could be important. Could be important to them, or their future, or the future of the planet, or how society is conducting itself. So that's kind of the, uh, the rock in a hard place uh, you know, that as a podcaster, uh, you can get into, and, and I know other people, I know not a lot, but there's, there's some of us out there who say, gee, you know, I just don't want to, uh, you know, talk about one thing because that's so limiting. How much can you talk about hunting or how much can you talk about survival and prepping and how much can you talk about fishing or canoeing or mountain climbing or, firearms or <laughs> camping or whatever you know and some people can do it you know some people certainly can do it even though it becomes kind of a, a repetitive topic and a repetitive conversation it seems a lot of people like that they like to keep their minds in that loop and going outside of that loop uh I think this is why we see a lot of people when, when they're forced to break out of that bubble, you see them being very anxious, very scared, very angry, uh, needing the safe space to go, you know, hold a kitten or a puppy or, you know, whatever the case may be to calm down because they're so conditioned. Uh, and and it's, it's not saying, you know, people are bad or they're stupid for doing this. That's not what I'm saying at all, but I think it's very sad that so many people are letting themselves being led by the nose to let themselves be trapped in that bubble. You know, this is where the influencers are taking us in this day and age. And that's really sad to see how incredibly shallow most people have become shallow in our thinking shallow in our interests you put up a video on youtube of important things that are happening saying okay you know looking at the topic of prophecy and look at all these things that are happening in the world this this is kind of uh, you know scary this is kind of you know, maybe a wake-up call for humanity. This this can't be by mistake. This can't be coincidence. You know, the prophecies of yesteryear are just, you know, coming to pass uh, in ways that are almost unreal. And you could put up the most in-depth podcast or video about that saying you know folks you know we 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 gotta kind of wake up and and look at what's happening around us and someone could put so much time and energy and research into that and put up a video that is just fantastic and then put that up against a group of kids 
playing pranks or diving off of a the top of a uh, uh, backhoe into a swimming pool, you know, full, you know, filled with vodka or some nonsense, and high percentage of people will go over and watch the kids jumping into the swimming pool filled with vodka and or doing jello shots and you know uh, running down the slip and slide and acting like a bunch of goofballs or playing a video game you know hey the heck with all that other stuff let's watch this guy over here playing the the next level of minecraft or whatever it happens to be and that's uh, you know to me that's concerning because that's what we have been trained by the influencers, you know, in our world today to put our attention on. So what are we going to do when something really significant does happen? What are we going to do when there is that crap hits the fan moment that you hear a lot of people talk about? Are we going to be prepared? Are we going to know what to do? Are we going to pull together or are we going to see panic and robbing and looting and people killing other people to get what they have? And sadly, I think uh, it's going to be that. It's going to be B, robbing and looting and killing other people to get what they have. Every post-apocalyptic movie we've ever seen in our lives where we see the people that, you know, run around like a pack of wolves just killing and taking and being cannibals and eating other people and all of us normal people that sat in the audience going, oh my God, you know, and there probably will be people like that if something like this were to happen, you know, and that'll be sad, but now it's going to be most people will do something like that. Now we're sitting in the audience going, yeah, I would join that group, (laughs) you know, (laughs) The pillagers and the rapists and the takers and the cannibals. I'll do what I need to do to survive because people don't know how to survive. And if they're faced with a life and death situation, which in any apocalypse, I don't care how many guns somebody has, I don't care how much food somebody has stocked up, depending depending on the severity of, of, of what could happen and a crap hits the fan situation, It's not going to last forever. Or somebody's going to come and injure you and take what you have and leave you for dead. Then what? Are people going to have faith to know they're not alone? Are are they going to face death with courage and peace? Or are they going to face it screaming and yelling and sorrow and anxiety and, you know just flipping out because people don't have peace we focus on this nonsense and then when life hits us square in the face most people fall to pieces and that's why I say in this show you know I think I think we really need to start expanding our horizons and thinking outside of, you know, the influencers and the politicians and all this nonsense that's vying for our time. It reminds me of that biblical scripture in the last days, you know, that these false teachers will come and people will surround themselves with, uh, you know, teachers that will, you know, tickle their ears with what they want to hear. Because that's certainly what's happening. And, and, and it's not necessarily even religious things. It's video games. It's the makeup tutorials. It's, uh, you know, any nonsensical thing you could want to focus on. And it's out there and people surround themselves with just this shallow, you know, nonsense And that becomes life. And we wonder why we don't connect with one another anymore. Everybody's wondering why, oh, I'm I'm out there looking for a relationship. I met this guy, I met this girl. It seemed great, but then we had one little tiny argument and here she ghosted me. They ran away. My friends abandoned me. Where did they go? 
because nobody knows what loyalty is anymore. It's live in the bubble with me, and if you have any ideas or thoughts that are outside of that bubble, I won't talk to you anymore. I'll ghost you, I'll retreat, I'll disown you, I'll get away because it's too much drama. Too much drama to hear another person's opinion that's different than your own. And how are we ever going to come together if there ever is a major crap hits the fan moment? It's going to be chaos. And this is what we're being prepped for. So folks, uh, these are kind of my uh, off-the-cuff uh, thoughts for this final podcast. As I said, I will be back once I figure out uh, what I'm going to do um, next, how I'm going to present it. And we're going to talk about more topics like these. So stay tuned. I'll be back uh, hopefully in a week or two. I'm going to be working on this uh, behind the scenes to have something uh, a little more, uh, I don't know, ear-catching, eye-catching, something that's a little less misunderstood and scary (laughs) for people. seeing a word spiritualism and going, oh my God, because again, not understanding uh, what that is Uh, and people saying, oh, we want the show back. And then when you say, okay, I'll do it, you know, then people don't listen. So uh, (laughs) that's part and parcel for the internet. You know, that's just the way it goes, but I'll be back. And I hope this show gave you some food for thought and I hope you'll share this message with other people. That's why I do these shows, to make people think and maybe start conversations, you know, among family members and friends because we need to talk about these things. We're putting our minds too much in a box and we're not capable of thinking about anything deeper or dealing with anything significant in our life. And I think that's by design. Whether you want to blame the government, the influences, influencers, the shadow government, uh, the devil, who maybe all of them, but I think it's by design, uh, you know, how people have been so dumbed down in their reasoning and in their attention span and in their interests. So think about these things. Talk about these things amongst yourselves out there in the real world. And I will see you soon with uh, whatever's coming down the pike next. So until next time, stay in love, stay in light. God bless everyone, and I will talk to you soon.